What's going on there friends, my name is m 2 and welcome back to the episode of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. I'm currently sounding like... iffy. Like, I'm sounding stuffy right now. And that's because I'm still cur currently recovering from being sick. I was sick all day yesterday, and still a little bit sick today. Uh, but I am feel definitely feeling better than yesterday, and I figured that um, since my voice doesn't sound like crap unlike yesterday, I figured I'm, I might have the energy to actually record this video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So today we're going to be making lots of progress, uh, and by lots of progress, well, you can probably guess by the, by, like, the video that we have made lots of progress. <laughs> So first, we're going to start off by getting by getting the power moons of Luncheon Kingdom. Uh, so, um, if you talk to the uh, Tostarina tourist from Sand Kingdom, uh, and then encounter him in Metro Kingdom, then in Cascade Kingdom, um, then he will appear here in Luncheon Kingdom, and then he's gonna say that he's been that he wants to go somewhere way up high in the sky. Uh, so. In the um, so continuing exploring Carranza Plaza, uh, Peach is is there. Peach and Tiara are there, and Peach is in overalls, which is kind of unusual because uh, you never really see Peach in overalls. Then again, you never really see Peach in any of the other outfits that she wears in every kingdom. Uh, so it's I don't know, but the overalls is the one that stands out the most, in my opinion. That's just me. Uh, if you're not wearing the mechanical outfit, which is this particular outfit that I'm wearing, that I'm wearing with the Famicom hat in the back of, of me right now, uh, then you will not be. Then that um, Steam Gardener, I think that's what it's called, will not um, give you that power moon. So that's 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 that right there. Uh, then there's Toad, uh, who wants uh, to listen to. Any song that sounds dangerous, and so the easiest song that I could find was the dinosaur music uh, from Cascade King Kingdom, or in, or uh, any other kingdom that has the dinosaur in it, um, because that sounds like dang that sounds like danger, right? Definitely. Yeah. See, there's the music right there. That's very dangerous. Uh, then we have the Koopa free running race, so let's go ahead and take care of it right now. Um, there's a, there's also some other power moons like the rooftop lantern, uh, which you use by getting a fire bro from uh, Meat Plateau, uh, which is which that's pretty easy to get. You saw me struggle a little bit there, but it's not hard. Okay, so this free running race is um. A rather simple one. It's hard to get the path. It's hard to get the pathing uh, down, but um, once you're familiar with the road, it's um, not that hard. So um, just follow this exact path right here, um, fling onto, fling onto that um, that thing right there, and then head up this way. This is where ground pound jumps are very useful. Um, because I believe ground pound jumps give you this the height of a double jump, I believe. Um, it's definitely not as it's definitely not as high as a triple jump. All right, and then uh, head up this way. Take uh, um, t if you take that path that I just took right there, that is a shortcut. Um, and and it, that shortcut is so good that the master race doesn't even do that at all. So you will save quite a lot of time over the master race. Well, it's not that well, actually no. It's not that big of a time save, but it is. But it is a time save enough that you can, e that you can easily win the master race. Uh, so then there is a uh, Bonneton on this Volbonin, and uh, he will. And if you find him, he'll give you a power moon, and that is um, pretty much all the all the moons there. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up this King of Moon Rock. And we're going to now, and we're going to activate more uh, power moves here. And my voice is already getting tired. Oh man, I guess I don't. I guess I really didn't have that much energy uh, when I am when I was when I'm just about to make a recover from being sick. But um, I'm still hopefully gonna try and pull through. Hopefully I don't pass out or, or whatever or lose my voice at the end of recording. 
That one that won't be good. Okay. Um so um the first thing I'm going to do is go back to is go is warp near the Odyssey and um um on the uh, rooftop near the o Odyssey you can uh, find a moon pipe and the moon pipe will take you to this area where we have to ride on the lava um well, but you can just oh man but you can just uh use the lava bubbles instead and it's no problem then if you near Peranza Plaza there is a bright spot on that blue platform and you if you go ahead and ground pound that so you can get yourself a power moon. Uh, then in the volcano entrance uh, at the volcano entrance we have this place right here um, in through by uh, well if you um, go ahead and, and uh, find there's a moon pipe and it'll take this area right here. Um, and as you can tell, in this area, it's a very, very long auto-scroller because you have to ride this very slow blue platform all the way across the, the lava, and that is not fun. Oh man, <laughs> I got burned a, a bunch of times and I actually lost my health extension, and that's not good. Which means I'm gonna have less health for later on. I'm surprised I even kept my health extension. That helped, I kept that health extension from Metro Kingdom. Um, and I just haven't really died since. Uh, or at least lost my health extension from, from that point. Alright, so there is a power moon right there on the edge of the of that cannon there on the near the top of the um, the peak climb to the uh, stew pot. And then right there, there's another power boot on top of the, on that roof there. It's near the free running race. And then now we're going to do the master race. So like I said, um, generally, just like I said, same, same thing. Um, and there is that shortcut that I did mention earlier, that it is so good that you, that the, that the gold Koopa doesn't do it. So, and I'm not kidding when I say that. Uh, so just use that short utilize that shortcut you you will win as long as you don't make too many mistakes Um, so um, The platform cycles here you also have to take in consideration the platform cycles aren't always the same when you're uh, doing these race when you're doing uh, this this free running race, so uh, try to get a a good good enough long jump to, to get across that the lava there uh, can be can be tricky depending on your cycle. So head up. So once again, head up this way. Wait for this thing to rotate. You can stand on the edge of the lava on the lava side. But it's a little bit risky, so I prefer not to take to take that path. Yeah, so once again, take this shortcut right here. The, the as you saw, the gold Koopa did not take this path right here, and and so you just save yourself like a handful of seconds, just enough to win. Otherwise, you get like a 50 second time without that shortcut, which is still all right. So there we go. That's the master cup, and I guess I didn't submit it to the leaderboard. For, for, uh, I, uh, for some reason, I probably should. I probably should have uh, just to see what the best time is for for, for that one. Um, but I'm definitely not first place for sure because I don't know how people get these times so fast. Like I like I'm aware that there's some speed tricks that I don't do because I because I'm not a speed runner. But uh, still, that's just kind of ridiculous that you, people can find so many crazy things. To, like sequence break the heck out of these races right here it's kind of bizarre all right so at the very top of meat plateau there is a moon pipe that will take you to this area um you want to use the, you don't need the fire bro in order to get through this area but if you want to uh, get the second power moon here you are going to need to get that fire you're going to need to to capture that fire bro so because uh, on the way on the path up here there are some torches they have to go ahead and light up and if you're not a fire bro, you cannot light these torches up. And that will give you that power moon. So there we go. Okay, so that is all the power moons of Lanchion Kingdom. Um, 
Next up, we are going to go ahead and um, take a picture of that thing on the on one of the mountains of of um, Meat Plateau, and that will lead you to a to an area in the water in the deep water of uh, Seaside Kingdom. And if you go ahead and ground pound that spot where where it shows a little baby Poochie, then you can get a power man, and that power man goes directly towards. Uh, Lunch and Kingdom, so that is everything in, in Lunch and Kingdom. Uh, now we're gonna go to Ruin Kingdom, and Ruin Kingdom, uh, Ruin Kingdom's Pyramids are very fast um, because there's only a total of ten Pyramids in this whole kingdom. Uh, so the first Pyramid that we just got is by talking the Peach, who was hanging out by that dragon who's still sleeping. I guess you can actually talk to the dragon, and he says that he's tired. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed that, or I don't remember if I showed that or not, but he says he's tired to go ahead and talk to him. Um, <laughs> and you can actually stand on the dragon as well, and the dragon won't actually do anything. He's just like, his head is just on the, uh, on the, on the arena, and he's just like, just hanging on the wall. Like, how can he do that forever? It's kind of bizarre, man. Eh? Alright, so... Uh, breaking that moon pipe, the first thing that we're going to do, or breaking that moon rock, the first thing that we're going to do is that there's a moon rock near the Odyssey, and this will take you to this area. It is filled with a bunch of zombies, so go ahead and br and um, capture that charging truck to dash through all those zombies. They're really called mummies, but I like calling them zombies because because they act like zombies. They're out to chase you. They're out to suck the blood and uh, possess you into to become one of them. And that's not good. It's like the Walking Dead all over again. It's that's you don't want to be you don't want to encounter the Walking Dead. It's just not it's not good. Um, yeah. Um, I remember watching a, the first few episodes of uh, the Walking Dead back when the first season aired, and um, I kind of stopped watching it because um, I can't hand because I couldn't handle it anymore and. I know, it, it sounds, it's, I, I mean, that's, that does sound like I'm a noob, and that's because I am a noob when it comes to watching, uh, horrors like that. I just can't, I just can't do, I just can't do it. Um, yeah, and I also can't deal, do scary moves, but I can do scary games for some reason. Scary games aren't, aren't, they're not that bothersome to me, but scary films are, are apparently, and that's... That's, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of weird when you think about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that was Ruin Kingdom. We weren't there for that for very long, as, as you might have just saw. Uh, that raw footage of me going through Ru Ruin Kingdom actually took me five minutes, and that just got edited down to, like, two minutes right there. So that was awesome. And now we are here in Bowser's Kingdom, and... Okay. I just want to mention one, one thing. Um... If you look up any resource on on list of power moons of whatever kingdom, and the section where it says the Koopa Freerunning Race, this one in particular is so bizarre because um, because of every resource of the Koopa Freerunning Race uh, regarding the Koopa Freerunning Race of Bowser's Kingdom says that there are no shortcuts that you can take. Absolutely none. Which means it is which means it's the hardest Koopa Freerunning race. But guess what? Look what you just saw me do right there. A shortcut. A big a big shortcut that I'm just like destroying this race. Like what the heck? Are we, these guys are like just these guys just haven't like sequence break in their whole in their whole life, I guess. Because that because this is really easy. Like here like here in my mind, like when I when I like when I like read that and I thought, man, I'm gonna have a hard time with this free running race in my let's play. Then I go to practice it, and it's super easy. Because all you do is just jump all the way down from the top to the bottom. Like, how hard is how hard is that to do, honestly? Like, even the master race is not even the hardest master race in the in the entire game. So it's kind of like, I still think that the Master Race in Wood Kingdom is the hardest free-running race in, in the whole game, in my opinion. Because of, because, of the, because of the thing that you have to do, because of the, the ridiculous cap jump that you have to do in order to win. 
Man, look at this. I just beat that in like a minute and a half. Okay. Um, even with that, even with that shortcut, this is actually considered to be the longest free-running race in the entire game, and I will have to agree with that because it, it is pretty long. Um, but it is definitely not hard at all. So there we go. That's the regular cup. <laughs> Ironically enough, uh, Bowser's Kingdom in of in every other Mario game is usually covered in lava. In this game. It's covered in poison water, which is kind of, which is which is really really odd. I don't know. I, I, it's a really odd choice they made. And then like if you look at the background, the background's all fiery looking. Like you expect this ha to have some lava with um uh the with like all the with all the fiery background, but no, it's just it, it, everything is just poison water instead of lava. Makes no, it, it makes no sense to me. Like, why? Alright, so there's a painting there that didn't work on our, um, on our, uh, first time in Bowser's Kingdom. But, uh, since we but since it's now available to us, uh, that painting will actually take us to Seaside Kingdom, uh, in Bubblane, on the, on one of the top areas. And, uh, go ahead and, gra and grab that permit, and that should include everything in Seaside Kingdom. Uh, near the Super shop, you can see Peach. Uh, Peach is wearing a um, Japanese robe, which is something that's very unique because you, you because obviously you never see you would never see you would never ever get to see Peach wearing a wearing a Japanese robe, especially in Bowser's Kingdom. Man, that's like. Already 10 out of 10 right there. If Bowser ever saw Peach like that. Speaking of, I don't have we we have never encountered Bowser ever since we've defeated him. Um, I guess we just left him on the moon. If you remember at, at the end of the game, because we just because uh, we left him, and that's how it works. <laughs> uh, no, that's not really how it works. But um, anyway. Um, that is um, all the power moves for uh, Bowser's Kingdom. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up its moon rock so we can go ahead and get pick up more power moves in Bowser's Kingdom. Um, oh yeah, um, one of the uh, there is a Bonaton around around this area that wanted to see a Pokio. So if you go ahead and capture a Pokio and capture and uh, bring it to bring it and uh, bring it to that Bonaton, then um, he will give you a, he will reward you with a power moon. Okay, so there are only two moon pipes in Bowser's Kingdom, and the two moon pipes are located on the left and right side rooftops of this area that of the um, area that, that I'm in. I believe it's um, I believe it's the main courtyard that, that I'm in right now. Um, and uh, both those rooftops are are um, inaccessible. Unless you're using these um, slingshots, that'll fling you to those roof, to those rooftops. And uh, this area is a little tricky to go through. You have to really know. You have to be really good at controlling your Pokio in order to get through this area. Which, as you, as you might have just saw, I am not very good at doing at doing that. All right, uh, take a dip into that water right there and you shall get um, a power moon in, in one of those crates and then right here you have to aim this just right um, have one of those rolling bombs uh, break that glowing block that you just saw right there and the power moon is yours to keep right there okay um, and then if you go ahead and go to the left side Right here, we shall encounter another moon pipe. And this moon pipe, we have a hex, a giant hexagon pillar. And around the giant hexagon pillar, there is, uh, there are uh, moon shards that you can get, as well as death, because there's poison water at the bottom. Um, and uh, uh, but uh, more importantly, there's a key there, and uh, the key will will open up the uh, power moon. Oh man, I love this song. Um, 
So anyway, collect these um, moon shards. I'm having a hard time trying to find them, but there we go. And of course, um, I didn't pay attention to, to the fact that I died, and uh, when you die, um, you have to actually get the key again, because it, because it actually does reset your key, the key if you die. Uh, but for some reason, it doesn't reset your moon shards, which is kind of weird. So there we go. Okay, um, from the showdown, go ahead and fling yourself up to uh, this this rooftop. Throw Cappy on uh, on that horn right there. Uh, it can be it's the left side from the front, but the right side from the back, I guess you could say. Um, and a power moon will appear. Okay, it is now time to do the master race, and this is the best because as as I said before, my notes deceived me. My notes completely lied to me, saying that there were absolutely zero shortcuts they could take here. There are definitely... It is uh, the most... That is 100% incorrect. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and long jump down like this. And then... I'm going to die! Just kidding. No, I'm not. I survived. That was that was that was more impressive than the regular than when I did that on the regular cup. <coughs> oh my gosh! Okay, and then the rest is just going is just going down as far as it can, which shouldn't be hard, in my opinion. So let's go ahead. So let's keep doing it. I'm sure this is like heck easy to figure out like that was like this is definitely super easy for me to figure out that there are actually shortcuts as soon as soon as um, I saw what this actual race looked like looks like um, and then of course my notes just had to lie to me I like the even when you are when you're traveling through the sparks, like the the sound that the sparks make, like play, plays along with the music as well, which is really awesome. And there we go, 1:30:01. Very very good time, in my opinion. And it does beat my personal best by a whole second. I'm impressed by that. Okay, this time I'm submitting my time onto the leaderboard, so let's see what let's see what I get from this one. Okay. Pamitu with 10721. How do the how do these people do this? I don't get it. Am I just not good enough, apparently? Well, I, apparently I just have I have to not be good enough in order in order to be placed on like 1,000 like 2,000 plays every single for every single time I submit on the leaderboard. Gosh. Oh yeah, that was a really cool save that I just did right there. Um, I actually thought I was gonna die, but um, that just uh, I just did some really cool speed tech to save myself right there. All right, so in the areas that we fought the Brutals, uh, mainly Harriet and Topper, uh, there is a Yufu there. They can go ahead and defeat by using a stack of Goombas. And then on this other side, we have um, some music notes that we have to go ahead and collect. Um, and there are three rounds of these music notes. I failed that the first time. And, um, uh, the third, the, the collecting these notes isn't hard, but um, the last phase of the notes you have to you have to use the you have to use Cappy Spin in order to get the in order to get those notes. Otherwise, you are not going to get the you're not going to get those notes on time. All right, so then um, in the, um, this area with all the bomb with all, with all the bombs, you go ahead and make and take a detour, and there's a spark pylon. Go ahead and ride, and ride through it. And and uh, there will be a key that will, that will unlock the power mode. Um, in this area right here, 
This is near the beginning of the kingdom. And then you go ahead and um, capture a Pokio. And there is a set of notes. You need to go and collect on that wall. And then you go ahead and go to the other side. There's a hole right here that you have to go ahead and poke your nose through, which can be a little bit precise to do because you're on mid-air. Well, yeah, you're 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 in mid-air, um, so you have to time that just right. Otherwise, you're probably not going to um, get. Otherwise, you're probably not going to get that and die, which would suck if that happens. All right, so near the beginning of the Odyssey, there is a bird on that left side of that roof. So you want to go ahead and and uh, be very careful with it because if you go too fast with that, the bird will fly away, and then you have to go ahead. You have to find a way to reset it, which is not good. Um, at uh, beneath the keep, there is a um, there is a timer challenge. So be and that timer challenge is really easy. Uh, then there is a picture near the main courtyard. Go ahead and take a picture of that. It reveals a power moon near Moai habitat of the Sand Kingdom. And if you go ahead and grab out that spot that shows, and then a power moon will appear, and that will go towards Bowser's Kingdom. So with that, that is everything of Bowser's Kingdom. And next time, we're going to be taking on the Boon Kingdom. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.